Hey, what's up, my people? Uh, today is the 30th of uh, August, and um, Elliot and I did promise you when uh, we, we did um, the series on feeding uh, the animals, and um, you know, specifically because you feed according to the result you are expecting to get out of your farm. And I think um, Elliot took us onto the farm and showed us um, a particular doe, doe number 24. Um, that, and when he went there, I reminded him that um, you've put a date of cross date is the 30th of July. That means by the 30th of August, that doe should be expecting. And therefore, Elliot is using this opportunity to take us through the same process and show us how we fed that particular animal, how we are feeding that um, pregnant doe. And so the thinking is, look, let's do a little series, a series that talks about uh, feeding a pregnant doe. Once the doe give birth, uh, we're going to increase the feed. We're going to put some special treat in there, moringa leaves, moringa stem. Uh, to you know, to make the uh, uh, the breast milk nice, much better, thicker. Um, we will also then monitor this particular animal. So we're going to bring you about three or four good videos, um, just focusing on only feeding because we believe that feeding leads to the results that you expect out of your farm. So if you feed your animal carefully, it will reflect in the result. And so for us. Over and above the key parameters that we discuss on the farm, like the breed, the feed, the type of hatches, the, the, the actual marketing, and then the production plan that you have on the farm, we believe feed is another very critical part. And for this reading reason, we are going to focus on feeding maybe two or three, even four good series, just focusing on the pregnant doe throughout um, the gestation period. And also, once it litters, how we feed it with the litter. Once the litter is coming out of the, of the box, how we feed them until weaning. So I think we should do about three or four videos, and that will be very, very educational. It is going to be timeless. And therefore, let me send you straight to the farm, and then we'll then allow Elliot to continue from there, okay? All right, enjoy. Thank you very much, Mr. Alex, for this opportunity. And viewers, once again, you're welcome to Ace Farm. And as you already know, we present our data as raw as we can and unfiltered so we can all learn from it. So today, we'll be doing a little recap on our previous video we did on nutrition. Okay, remember, we showed you some animals, I mean, the type of animals that we have on our farm that is a non breeding doe the lactating dough and then the box okay so the reason why we'll be talking we're making a recap today is to let you know that the dough we showed in the video okay the pregnant one is due today on the 30th and so we want to bring you the behaviors that it is putting up and then soon after we'll take you through the the feeding methods okay that is through the lactating period okay to the winning state so i'm going to show you how she's behaving now she has a little box in there and then there is a little dried leaves in there she's trying to play with to make a nest okay and so it makes them uh, feel very natural when they have the leaf in there you know you know the setup just makes them feel natural like yeah they are, they are in the in the wild or something okay so let me show you how this dough, this particular dough, is behaving right now. Okay, let me show you how this particular dough is behaving right now, and we'll bring you updates on the litter size and then the feeding pattern, the feeding methods, what you are supposed to do. You know, how many feed, uh, how many feed you are supposed to give this dough throughout the lactating period, to the winning stage. You know. So that is the dough over there at the back and you can see there is a lot of feed in the in the feeder to take care of it through the, the period okay before labor and so if you don't do that if you don't give it a lot of feed uh, they may end up eating the 
the babies or the bunnies okay so it is advisable to give enough feed when the time is due so you can see the litter box in there and then you can see we have some dried leaves in there and she's trying to play with to make her nest okay okay so that is it okay so i'm going to take you to the non-breeding animal that do that i crossed uh some days ago okay i crossed it with a pure breed okay a pure breed male and uh we are going to monitor her closely to see how she's going to behave and what she's going to give us i mean the results so behind me you can see She's been crossed on the 25th of August. Okay, that is the door in there. Okay, so we are going to monitor this closely and then we are going to bring you updates soon. So viewers, thank you very much for following us, for supporting and would appreciate your comments in the comment section. Let's interact. So until the next episode, enjoy this video.